Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so as you see by the title, today I'm doing the Tiny Hands Makeup Challenge. And this challenge was pretty hard, I'm not going to lie, but it was super fun. I'm not going to blabber on too much for this intro. Um, I just want to say that if you're new here, hi, welcome. We do fun stuff here, really colorful looks, and apparently challenges now. So if you're into that sort of thing, then hit that subscribe button down below and join the family over here, okay? It really helps me out a lot, and it's free for you, so why not? So if you want to see me do this challenge and create this beautiful, gorgeous makeup look, then um, watch at your own risk, okay? See you there. <laughs> So of course before you start your makeup look you want to prime your eyes and I'm going to go in with my Revlon Candid Concealer. This was like my go-to primer except it is starting to get a little bit dark so I kind of need to get a new one. Uh oh. Uh huh. Okay. So you want to make sure you just get it on your eye not your face. Okay, priming, prime. I'm just gonna blend that out with my spongy. The best that I can. Ow. Ow. Ah. My tiny hands keep stabbing. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay, and then this bar here, just blend it in. No one's gonna know. Okay, and the palette I'm gonna use today is the Beauty Bay and um, Nikki Tutorials palette. This is a really good palette. The shimmers in here are top notch. Some of the best shimmers I've ever used. I'm gonna go in with the shade Amsterdam, and I'm just gonna put that right in the crease. Okay. It's a really nice royal blue shade, okay? Take it right on into the inner corner. So it looks like you get a black eye. <laughs> and then with whatever's left over, just blend. Blending is the secret. And we're gonna do the same on the other eye. Okay, so then I dipped into the shade Plot Twist, and this is going to be our Blender Outer shade. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Okay, see, looking a little bit better. Same on the other eye. And for the lid shade, I'm going to go in with Mama Tutorials. It's a really pretty shimmer blue shade, and we're just going to put that right on the lid. Okay, tap in, tap, 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 tap. Gorgeous color. Oh, yes. Through the process, your hands might get really dirty, so make sure you always have a makeup wipe next to you so you can clean your, your hands, okay? We don't want blue transferring all over our face when we go in with our face products. So this is kind of the eyeshadow done. This is where I'm just going to leave it for now. And then I'm going to add a line of liner and we're going to put some lashes on, okay? Lashes bring out every look. They just make every look better. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. H2O Proof Liner. This is a pretty good liner. I liked it when I first got it, but it kind of like bleeds everywhere. So this should be fun. Very carefully, you don't want to mess up your eye look. Okay, you're just going to drag a nice line oh, all the way across. You could wing it out if you want. I'm going to try and wing it out. Okay, it's gorgeous. Oh. Ah! Make sure you get it right on those inner corners without stabbing yourself in the eyeball. Don't want to do that. Makeup's supposed to be fun, not painful. And there you have it. There's your nice, beautiful wing. And again, you get your hands dirty. Make sure you clean them. 
So before you do false lashes, you want to make sure you prep your real lashes first so that way they blend in better. So I'm going to go in with my lash I'm going to go in with my lash princess mascara. This is a really good mascara. It's so good. I'm going to be very careful again. Huh. I've already prepped my lash line. I use the duo glue. I find it easier just to put it right on the lash line as opposed to doing it on your lash. I lost my lash. So you just want to... Okay, just get it in your hands and meet your eye with the lash. Okay, and there you go, it's on. Tap it into place. And the same with the other eye. This one's a little bit difficult to see. Okay. But it's on there. Who cares if it's not even? It's on there. Just kind of adjust it a little bit if you have to. And there we go. Beautiful lashes. <laughs> Fluff them up so they're not sagging and you can see them. Boom. Looking fresh to death. So now it's time for the face, which is my favorite part because I feel like the face just brings everything together and makes you just look, you know, top banana. So I'm going to prime using the e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer. It's like a cooling primer. It's so good. I love the Jelly Pop one, but this one, it smells good and it's just cooling and sticky. It's nice. So I just like to put some on my face and then I'll use my hands to rub it in. This is the best way to do it. Make sure you get every little crevice. Get your forehead and when you feel it and it's sticky that's when you know it's ready i'm gonna use my juvia's place foundation today because i did tan over the weekend so i kind of have like a little bit of a tan but not too crazy so i'm gonna use that then i'm gonna go in with my sponge and just start pouncing it all over my face it's a good foundation has great coverage Sometimes bouncing takes too long, so if you just want to like roll it, you could do that too. Ooh. Pick a pick a wall, pick a pick a pick a wall. It's probably best to roll it up there too. Oh. You know, sometimes it's just not the best day for face makeup. I don't know why today's any different. I can usually do this perfectly fine. So next is concealer, and I'm going in with my Huda Beauty concealer. This is a really good one. It has a nice applicator on it. Then you want to take your sponge again. Then you want to blend that out too. Pouncing motions are the best motions, but if you have to roll it, I completely understand. That's not so bad. Okay. It kind of worked. And if your sponge keeps getting away from you, um, just really squeeze it, okay? Really grasp it in your hands and show it who's boss, okay? See how much brighter we look under there? We look gorgeous. So next I like to cream contour and I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Light. And then you really wanna put it in your cheekbone area gonna contour make it look like we have nice cheekbones and then you want to get your forehead and take your sponge again and you just blend out just blend out that contour and this time I'm gonna roll it I, I feel like rolling it's just the easiest way to go okay yeah see see that looks better I don't know who I'm trying to convince. Do the same on your forehead. Ugh. Oh. That's enough sponge. It just keeps like rolling away from me. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. So then you want to set your face and I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. It's a really good powder. It stinks, but it works. Okay, then you want to take a big fluffy brush and just powder all over your face. Really set it down. Especially if you're oily, this is going to help keep your makeup still for longer. Switching brushes. 
So now that we're nice and set, I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS Laguna bronzer and just bronze up my, my complexion over here. Okay, we lost a little bit of color. We're going to bring it back. Drag it right on top of those cheeks. If your hands are having a, if your hands are having a hard time holding your brush, just move your head. This will this will get the product on there. I promise. Anything works. If you just believe. We're almost done. Okay, home stretch, blush. Adds color back to the cheeks. I'm using the I Heart Revolution one. So you're gonna smile and just plop that right on the apples. Blush is gonna make us look like we're healthy. Are we though? Does it look beautiful? Can you even see it? <laughs> Next up is highlighter. Okay, this is gonna make us glow. It's gonna make us look like we have that natural glowy skin. This is the Too Faced Blinded by the Light Highlighter. And we're going to put that on the high points of our cheekies, our nose, Cupid's bow, and the chin. Nice, subtle, sexy glow. <laughs> So for the under eyes, I kind of want to keep them just open and big, but I am going to put some bottom mascara under there. And very carefully, I'm going to put mascara down there. I am terrified. Okay, now the other side. It could be worse, could be better. So that is the eyes completely done, the face completely done. We're looking gorgeous, if I do say so myself. So to finish this look off, we are gonna do the lips because you can't have like a nice, beautiful blue, big lashed look like this and not have lips on. Ignore this, we're gonna get him off later. So I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star Mannequin Liquid Lipstick. This is my like go-to everyday nude color. I know there's like tea with him or whatever, but I like the color. So I'm going to use it till it's gone. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of hold it steady and use my face to get it on there. Mm -hmm. Subtle. It looks pretty good. I did have a little accident right here, so I'm just gonna take my makeup wipe and see if I can get that off. Okay, now that the lips are done, that completes this entire makeup look. What do you guys think, hmm? The eyes came out pretty nice, not gonna lie. Came out pretty good. That blue shimmer is beautiful. It's great. The eyelashes are perfection, okay? They look perfect. I'm just, everything looks just so good. It really does. The lips. <laughs> Honey, did you get lip filler? Because... <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, this challenge is so freaking hard. I'm not even joking. These hands, you have to take them off for everything and then put them back on and then just like grasp them in your hands. And it's just, it's hard. And ugh, I don't know. But it was super fun to do. I love this. I thought it was so fun. I'm actually kind of not mad at the eyeshadow here. Like I'm kind of getting inspiration. <laughs> So maybe I'll like redeem myself in a video or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, that is it for today's makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. I hope you liked seeing me completely destroy this challenge. Like there's people out there that do it so much better. I just suck. As always, if you like me, if you like my content, then please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video. Follow me on my Instagram. I will put that up on the screen over here. And I have nothing else to say except I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <sighs> Man, I need a break. <laughs> Shit's like hard to hold. Hurts your fingers. <sighs> My God. <laughs> Why did I do lashes? Bruh.
So I'm gonna prime using my e.l.f. jelly, what is this? The e.l.f. mint mint, oh my god. No. Oh, come on. Uh, the amount of times I've dropped crap in this video. 